Ahead of next week's APEC summit in Peru, President Tsai met with James Song, whom she appointed as head of Taiwan's delegation, to discuss the upcoming meeting. Tsai said that although she and Song held different views and had different political leanings, they would work together to increase Taiwan's international profile. Song, a former foe of Tsai, stated he would work to fulfill his mission to promote the administration's new southbound policy at the international summit. Tsai has tapped PFP chairman James Song as the person to lead Taiwan's special delegation to the first APEC summit of her presidential term. Chairman Song and I are members of different and competing political parties, and there are naturally times when our opinions diverge. But when a leader of a political party goes to represent the nation in the field of international affairs, we need to come together as one. Since taking office, the new administration has been fully committed to the job of re-energizing Taiwan's economy. And our participation in APEC is one of the ways by which the government is hoping to push the new southbound policy and Taiwan's involvement in regional economic and trade integration, as well as drive the development of domestic industry. I would ask the president not to worry. We're not going as tourists. We're going to get stuff done, and we're going to find solutions for Taiwan's economy, especially our small and medium-sized businesses. The U.S. election has focused global attention on the possibility of a new wave of protectionism and isolationism, which could affect the development of free trade. We will, on behalf of Taiwan and its government, go to gather first-hand information on this. Song is expected to depart for Peru on November 15th, and onlookers are eagerly awaiting to see how he'll represent Taiwan at the Free Trade Summit for Asia-Pacific countries.